Here we have a 2003 Peugeot 206 Estate in silver. Car's definitely showing signs of its age as you'll see throughout the video. If you start with the offside front tyre, you've got a good 3 to 4 mil tread. Front hub cap, you've got some light scuffs around the outside, as you can see there, but no cracks, and it's definitely not coming off. That's uh, well on there. A um, couple of minor dinks down the offside of the vehicle, but no signs of any dents. Paintwork itself, a couple of scratches to the mirror. Bit of a blue scuff there, someone else's paint by the looks of things. And a couple of scratches, you know, age-related mark, etc. A couple of chips down the door edge as well. Sills are not too bad condition. You see your roof bars on top. Rear passenger door, again, one or two light scratches towards the bottom there. No signs of any damage. Rear quarter of the vehicle, um, you've got a bit of a dent there, a bit of a crease as you can see. And then some scratches and scuffs to that as well. Some scratches to the plastics. Rear tyre looking at a good 3mm again, and the rear hub cap again, not coming off there, and it's actually in nice condition with no marks or cracks. Moving towards the rear of the car, looking at the boot itself again, you've got some light scratches, and there's also a huge dent in the boot itself, as you can see there. Good bit of damage to the boot, large scuff, huge dent and some scratches as well, and some smaller dents below it as you can see there. So. Obviously going to need some uh, repair. You've got some scratches down there and some scratches to the rear bumper. Looking in the boot itself, as you can see the car is absolutely filthy. Um, definitely been used as a workhorse, so you're going to require a very good valet. Looking down to the near side rear tyre, you've got a good 3mm again on there. And the rear hub cap on the near side, again fitted on properly. But there is a few scratches and scuffs etc to so that. But no cracks or any serious damage. You got a small ding in the rear quarter there as you can see. A couple of scratches etc down the back of the vehicle. You got a very long scratch um, moving down the whole rear passenger door. Going all the way along the front passenger door as well. Again most of it should polish. Just your typical age related marks. 3 to 4 mil on the front tyre and some curbing around the front hub cap. Once again, though, it's fitted on properly, it isn't coming off. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, a couple of stone chips to the front and quite a few stone chips to the bonnet, also. It's going to require some touchings, etc., there. Some scuffs to the bottom as well. Take a look inside the vehicle. Now, the inside's very dirty indeed, it requires a good valet, but to be fair, there's no signs of any damage to the interior full cloth interior but uh, again absolutely covered in hair as you can see and the same to the back of the seats as well so good valet in there looking in the driver's seat once again lots of hair so going to require a good valet slight tear there as well and the same with the front passenger seat so Definitely requires a good valet inside, very dirty indeed. Now step inside the car itself, if we just show you the keys. The car does come with two sets as you can see, and just getting the car started itself. Again no problems with the immobiliser on the key itself. It starts first time, no issues at all there. As you can see you've got your radio etc. Sounds great, no problems at all functioning that, works fine. No problems at all with any of the blowers, aircon, light indicate there it's on and off. And there is no problems at all with the aircon. It was uh, staying in, there you go. So the light aircon does work perfectly fine, comes out nice and cold. Mileage 93763. Looking at the documents, looking at the V5. The car's had three owners. So it's kind of an MOT which ends the August 15th of this year, so a few months left on that. Service history is only partial. You got 13, 20, not sure when that is because it's been printed over. Um, the same with that one as well. And the last one was done in August. Uh, it's not a lot of information about service history. We've got dates and a stamp, and unfortunately, we can't really see the mileage. I'm guessing it's like 30, 40, and the last one was probably done. Um, around 60 but we've got no proof of when it was last done uh, but there is service history with the car uh, there we go it's the 2003 Peugeot 206 for the money it, it would be a good run around it seems to work fine it seems to run okay as well uh, and it is a state as well so plenty of room